Hello YouTube. So uh, I think I have uh, neglected you guys a little too long actually. I haven't had time to make a video so today I will cover uh, a lot of topics in one video. Okay. This is my NC6400 standing over here and I have it hooked up to the two monitors over here. So here is the two monitors running on the same computer, and as you can see, I don't use Max Vista anymore because uh, they uh, didn't uh, provide enough performance really. So here is the two computers, uh, or the two screens to one computer. I have removed the other NC6400 from the table. I did a trade with another guy I know from before and actually got myself a nice laptop. I know Acer isn't the best brand, but it does work. So I got myself a laptop that does work and it's running Windows 7 right now, so I'm kind of happy with the install although the web camera over there does not work I don't know why I don't plan to figure it out either because I don't plan to use it and uh, the six screens over here is uh, working out pretty fine I will try to fix another uh, Siemens no it's a Samsung monitor another Samsung just like that one but one version older so I can have the 22 inches down below and then I can move these 19 inches up one step and move that 19 inch one step to the middle and take that one out. That's the battle plan for that. And as for servers, I have uh, swapped out all the bad fans in these drive cabs because they all had bad fans in them. The YouTube backups are still running, although I haven't made any videos. I got a DV6000 and a DV9000 down there I still have to fix. I made up a cable for that monitor, I think. No, that one, that monitor. This one I made a cable for uh, a couple of days ago because it needs 12 volts, so I figured, hey, what the fuck, I can use a power supply cable. So, I fixed these three monitors, all of them work now. I will plan to uh, exchange that one for one of these. It does work. I have a trade going for a uh, couple of boxes and a couple of discs. One guy needs uh, boxes for the NVIDIA 295s. And I don't need boxes since mine are in the computer and won't probably leave the computer. So I got a trade with a bo couple of boxes. And I got a uh, trade with, uh, let's see here, Office. Microsoft Office. I got a trade with Microsoft Office for a laptop. Yes, you heard it correct. A Fiuzzi Amelio laptop for a disco office. I'm pretty stoked about that trade really. So a lot of things is happening and I haven't really had time to uh, uh, do things. For instance yesterday I helped a neighbor which got locked out from her apartment about 80 years old and he she didn't get in. It's a she. My English is bad sorry. But uh, she didn't get into his, uh, her apartment and I kind of helped her to uh, jiggle the lock so it uh, unlocked. And uh, now my brother seems to have problem with his lock. Yay. I'm soon a um, educated locksmith, I reckon. Bonus with doing this setup like this is that the USB receiver for this mouse had the same frequency as the USB receiver for that mouse and now with uh, the screen turned off it also shuts down the USB hub in the screen so I can use that mouse without problem. So 
I got that and uh, here is the parts for the screen laying around I need advice really on uh, recapping this board so let's see cap recapping board so after like the 25th uh, time the phone calls I am now once again back and uh, yeah uh, capacitors we were on the topic of capacitors um, we got three of them bulging over here they are let's see here they are 820 microfarads at 25 volts and uh, 330 microfarads at 25 volts the thing I'm wondering is do I need to exchange that and that capacitor while I'm changing the other things this card has obviously gone very hot at one time let me see if I can turn on the light and show you it has obviously gone very hot around that diode over there but it doesn't seem to test bad on my instrument so the diode doesn't seem to be bad these heat sinks show both of these show uh, kind of marks on the plate on the back plate of the screen but uh, I don't know if they are bad I really can't test those resistors or thingies uh, I don't have a tester for that so yeah I'm hoping just chains and caps will bring the monitor back to life so if anyone has worked on this monitor before and this power supply I would be very grateful for a uh, response so yeah that's about my update today YouTube take care everyone and please subscribe to my videos and sorry about all the interruptions in this video I couldn't help it so yeah bye all